Well, no question about it. Today was a bad hair day. <laughs> uh, winds gusted to more than 50 miles an hour in towns all across the area. That's uh, certainly a big change from just yesterday. So where does wind come from? Good question. Heather Brown explains the science behind this blustery day. I put the headband, the gloves on. I went for a hike today and did not stay out very long. I have a vest underneath. It's, it's no joke. The gusts were so strong today. I could go without the wind. That planes at MSP only took off towards the northwest. Some wind farms shut down to protect the blades, and crane operators threw in the towel at 45 miles per hour. I really, really hope it's not garbage day for you today. I think your bin is going to be in your neighbor's yard. I don't know which managers we made upset today to get through <laughs> this assignment. Look at your hair. <laughs> Now, now 31, 31 okay. miles an hour. That's pretty good. Okay. So we got a few gusts through here. You can hear it spin up. So. I, and I can feel it. <laughs> Pete Boulet is an assistant state climatologist. So where does this wind come from? Uh, basically, uh, what we're seeing is we're in between two areas of pressure. We've got low pressure well off to our northeast. And a high pressure system to the west, which puts the space in between the two in a wind advisory. Uh, high pressure would always move towards the low pressure. Yep. That's physics. Yep, yep. Like a balloon. Yep, like a balloon. The air pressure inside a blown up balloon is higher than the air pressure outside of here. So when you let the air out, that rush of air is like wind? That's right. That's right. And the more you blow into a balloon, the bigger the balloon is, the higher the pressure. So the quicker the wind will move out of the balloon. The bigger the difference between the low and high pressure systems, the stronger the wind. It's an air mass change, so what we're getting right now is wind that was over Canada. It tends to be a little colder up there. I think it's a little bit better if you walk south. It's not coming directly at you. Now, if this was a nice ocean breeze, it'd be a different story. Yeah, I wouldn't be outside talking to you. Heather Brown, WCCO 4 News. Yeah, everything was moving out there. Pete was demonstrating the proper way to hold the anemometer. <laughs> Too close, knock you silly with those little cups coming around. Yeah, because it was moving. Yeah. It was, but we didn't need an anemometer. We saw your hair wiggle, so we knew. That the hair was pretty, uh, the hair. That's a strong the wind. wind. Was that strong. Was a yes. That's a strong wind. Thank you for sticking me out there. Yeah, you got it.